Hey everybody. I have been non-stop going today. But I'm having so much fun. I don't want to stop. Um, I got some new paints. And um, I've been just playing and playing and playing. I have done nothing but play. And, uh, well, I worked this morning at the farmer's market, but I've been not doing nothing but playing since then, and I've been having a ball. So, these are, I'm going to do a, um, another one of these pours I've been doing lately. In these last little while, they're pretty fun. Um, they're, I, I'm going to do just uh, several individual blooms on here, and then uh, um, merge them. And, um... It's new to me. I know it's not new. Other people, I'm sure, have uh, been doing them, but um, I never have, so they're new to me, and they're fun. Um, and I've been having some really awesome results with them, I think. Partly due to my, well, my mix is finally right, but um, uh, it's also due to these paints. Um, these are awesome. They're, um... Master's Touch Heavy Body Acrylics, and, um, them and, you know, I'm using my pigments, too, but, um, they're really awesome. So, this is, like, raw sienna, I think, right here. Uh, it's just a dark brown we're gonna start with. Oh, this is gonna be kind of an earth tone pink pour for my mother because she likes those colors I almost didn't have enough of that almost okay and I'm having to walk around here because I didn't get organized mm. Let's put this. This is red ochre. And I sort of hesitated about putting it in here, but I'm going to put a little bit of it anyway. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that it'll contrast with that pink a little bit. But I'm not going to put very much, just a, a little bit. Because I don't really want a whole lot of uh, over, overbearing redness to it. Um, and this is Deco Arc Champagne Gold. It's a real pretty color. Uh, yeah, I'm really tired. But I knew if I slowed down. I just like crash or something and I didn't want to do that. This canvas is kind of dipped in the middle, but it's just going to my mother, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's irritating how it's making everything want to run that way. I didn't really realize that until just now. And this is some iridescent um, gray dark gray, and there's some pigment, um, some Pearlex, uh, silverish pigment in there, too. Some of these I've mixed pigment in, and some of them I, most, uh, some of them I haven't, um, I'll try to tell you when we go along, if I can remember. It's a good gray. And let's see what we got now. One of my favorites will have some copper. I hope I had a good day. I hope y'all have had a good day too. I was, I was at the farmer's market this morning and got to 
sell some art, talk about art. That's a good day if you ask me. And sell as much as I would have liked to, but uh, it was still fun. This one over here is really wanting to go to the center. <laughs> Alrighty. What do we have now? This color. I don't know what this color is. I, it's kind of a uh, nutmeggy looking. Um, I think it's a pigment. But I'm not sure. It almost looks like the uh, one I already used, but um, they're different. The, uh, it almost looks like a champagne gold, but it's different. <sighs> My kid is freaking out. He's bored. Or they all are. <clears throat> And this is silver pigment and um, mm, well, it's got some kind of paint in it, but I can't remember. I, I think deco art and uh, silver I put in there. It's funny when you've had a long day like that, even something that you just did two seconds ago, it's hard to remember for me. <sighs> Alright. Let's go with the pink now. I'm ready for the pink. Uh, and she likes this kind of baby pink. Um, I like the one that's a little more corally. But, um, I'm not doing it for me, so... I think I've had some really pretty pours today. It's been one of those days where things have just kind of worked out. This is a pretty pink. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty. even have very much of this. Oh, this is the same. All right, we'll just use the rest of it. This is the champagne gold, but I'll just go ahead and put the rest on here because we might as well. There's only a little bit left. And I'm going to use a black cell activator because I don't have any more titanium white. As a result, I have to add some white here. Um, just because I want some white in the pour. So I just, you know, you think that your pillow paint is white and you're gonna end up with some white in there, but that doesn't always happen, so. Uh, oops, that's a kind of a big blob there. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm in a hurry. I shouldn't be in a hurry, but... Okay. Now, my gold. And this gold, I had mixed very concentrated. Because I wanted it to be really, um, outstanding. And kind of all throughout. Just woven into everything. <sighs> On the edges and all around there.
Alright, that's good. Okay, cell activator. I hope I have enough of this mango. Just enough. Maybe. <sighs> you know, I think just enough. How about that? I hope that's enough anyway. Um, I'll just have to grab some more. Not. Okay, now I got a sore throat from doing this. I'll be honest with y'all. I am that bad out of shape. But I've been blowing these out and then uh, not using the hair dryer on. And I haven't tried it with this with this big of a canvas, but I've done it with the size smaller. So I'm going to try. Takes me a minute. My lips get tired. <laughs> Careful, I don't want to dump this all down my shirt. Okay, let's see how to get to that the best way. I think this is the best way. It's hard to blow that stuff backwards. That's really challenging. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've got enough black on here. Um,
I know it would be easier to use the hair dryer to do this. But, I don't like how that blows them out. Thanks for bearing with me. Mm. Okay, I'm about to hard blow one now. <laughs> All right, now, that sagging in that middle is more of a problem than I thought it was going to be. I hope it doesn't mess things up, but it's sagging quite a bit more than I wanted it to. I think it'd be happier if I had a little more black, but I'm not sure about that. Ain't not sure enough to stop and mix up more. So, uh, it may be fine. It's probably going to be fine. It's just not going to have as much lacing as, um, as I was kind of hoping for. It'll still be pretty. And if I don't like it, I'll do it again. Okay. I'm, I'm not liking the black. I'm not liking it. It's not doing right. It's got, it's got those little damn holes in it for one thing. Okay. We have to stop. I have to mix um, some more black real quick, um, because I'm not happy with that. It isn't doing like I want it to. If y'all get bored, you can always go ahead without me, but I have to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna mix up a little bit of black, and then I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna blow just the middle of the black out just a little bit and um, just to you know um, separate it and then um, stretch I'm just not gonna be happy with that I can tell sorry to have to stop in the middle like this but I got to This paint's too expensive, and I've put too much effort into it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make this may screw it all the way up. I don't know. Um, but see how those little the part that is black has got those little holes in it, and that is because somebody they uh, must have mixed my untinted base um because i noticed when i opened the can it was frothy looking it's weird
Okay, and that's all I want to do. Now, let's wait on this to come back. Just like when you first blow the cell activator out, we got to wait on it to come back. I just wanted, um, I want some more lacing. And look at all that lacing that it's hopefully going to make. Um, but we got to wait a second on it to float back in now. I only hope that it didn't overmix the area around. I hope not. I've never done that before. Stopped in the middle and added, you know, and done that. But I just felt like I needed to. We'll see. We shall see. I'm just playing. I don't like that. Mm. Um, that is uh, real thin down gold, but I just want a little gold right there. All right. Let's go. Let's see what we've done. I hope we haven't crashed it. But I had to do what I felt like I had to do. You know, um, I've never done that before and I may regret it, but you never know until you try. I probably should have waited longer on that paint to all come back to the center, but um, I didn't want to. I hope it'll all come back to, yeah, it's going to be okay. It mixed it, it made it um, a little more mixed than I would like, but the lacing is better. So it's kind of a compromise, I suppose. My mother will like it better that I did that because. Um, I just think she'll like the way this looks better. It's beautiful. Um, I'm glad I did it. I was really nervous. I've never stopped in the middle and added more cell activator or anything like that or blown it again. That's usually the kiss of death if you try to re-blow a a Dutch pour or a bloom or something. If you're needing to re-blow, you're usually in trouble. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna pour some paint off here somewhere. I need to get that corner better. So that's as good a place to start as any. I like it. I don't think it got too mixed. It's, um, I can still see the pink and, you know, the colors, the white. I think it's beautiful, actually. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's very different. I haven't ever seen one quite like it. But I gotta get some of this paint off of here somehow. 
and I don't want to pour anything off. My usual conundrum <laughs> is needing to pour off paint and not wanting to. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go back and stretch up that way. I want to stretch this, what all's going on down here in this corner across some um, because that lacing is beautiful and um, we can stretch that out. And this white patch is really beautiful right here. Um, it's got copper poking out of it in the cells, and, um, that's really beautiful. I may not give her this one. I may keep it myself. <laughs> uh, these get so slippery. I've complained about that before on here, and I've told y'all I think they're slipperier than regular acrylic paint. <laughs> I think that house paint makes them slipperier. Because <sighs> I have almost dropped several times. <sighs> I'm so glad I left that red ochre in there. Look at that. That's beautiful. And it does contrast with the pink. I, I didn't know for sure if that was going to work out or not. I'm trying to bring this lacing that's up in this corner around over to here because I don't have a lot going on over here in this corner and I'd like to see something a little more interesting over there. But I don't want to lose any of my lacing in the other corner either. So. use I, I use a lot of paint and I guess that's why it takes me so long to work one of these you know I tilt for a long time and I think it's just because I I use so much paint that it, it just takes me a while to get it all situated where I want it and to pour enough of it off and you know I just work them a long time seems like they take me longer than other pours do but, um, I have to get them where I'll, you know, where I want them. And that takes time. So, I'm sorry this video is probably longer than it should be, but, um, like I said, we had unforeseen circumstances. It's going to be so worth it, though. This is going to be beautiful. What I'm trying to do now is stretch this part a little bit down into here so it'll kind of meet up with this. I'm not going to try to get it to meet all the way up, but I'd like to uh, stretch that corner out a little bit if I can without losing this lacing down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it though. Not to the extent that I want to. That looks pretty good. I like it. Well, oh crap. I just rubbed this edge over here. So, tilt that. You know, when you get your hand a little too close to the side, it'll do that. And that's another consequence of the slipperiness. That's why it happens. This one is giving me a fit, y'all. 
Oh, what a booger. And I bit my tongue today. You know how stupid you feel when you bite your tongue? But it hurts. <laughs> and then it swells, and then you bite it over and over and over. And that's what I've been doing today all day, is accidentally biting my tongue more. And it's about to drive me crazy. It's making me irritable. I gotta get that covered up down there at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I rubbed it and I gotta get it covered up. It's about to be done though. Alrighty. I'm still trying to stretch that lacing out some more. I'm just not where I want to be with it yet. I know y'all can't see right now, I'm sorry. Just a minute and I'll flip it back around. This lacing is all, it's all jammed up. And it, I need to, I guess, push more of it off because it needs to stretch some more, I think. Yeah, it, it needs to be stretched out a little bit more. <sighs> 